So this is the new ring. Um, my uh, new company hooked me up with. It's, it's, it's thing is pretty sweet. Um, it's a uh, 04, uh, 379. Um, it's got the uh, C15 hooked to a uh, Eaton uh, 13 speed. Um, but uh, it is the car audio channel. I'm trying not to dox myself here. <laughs> This is not my truck, this is just the one I, it's just what I get to drive. Um, but uh, this truck was used for uh, grain hauling. They were doing like 160,000 pound loads with it. And um, they just, you know, I wanted to do over the road. And I talked to this this guy, he's a really, really nice guy. And uh, uh, he's like, you know, he wanted to put it out over the road, you know, not, not so he's not beating it up. This isn't, you know really quite designed for that I mean you can do it but anyway uh, but what's interesting and why I'm doing this video for this channel is that um, look what it's got that is the same radio that's in the Cascadia that I was driving and then when I was talking about how garbage it is and, and this one though they, they um, it's Panasonic so they actually they, 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 that one did not say Panasonic. It had no um, uh, branding on it at all. This is an older one. This doesn't have Bluetooth. This has uh, one of those like auxiliary cords, which is what I use. But um, this thing actually sounds sweet. I, I mean, I'm not gonna leave it as it. Like, I want what I want to do is just add a small amp and like make like 112. I think I want to do that um, that 112 inch solo barrack I did a video on. Um, the only thing is, it's like a 4 ohm, because I wanted to do like something small like a HCCA uh, 225. One, it would match the color scheme of this truck, and I think that'd be kind of cool, but um, two, you know, it doesn't draw a ton of power if you're not like, you know, dropping the ohms down to one ohm, but I, I really, I feel like you gotta need two ohms to get enough out of that to push a solo barrack. I don't know. I might hook it up and see what it sounds like. But anyway, what this has that the, that the Cascadia doesn't is you got four by sixes, a tweeter, you know, so you got two of those there, two tweeters, and then you got back here, if you can see it, and it's just like, a, it's not really anything fancy, it's a cheap, like, almost like GM spec, but, um, six and a half, and it's got one there, and then one on the other side down there, and, um, uh, they, they, and then there's two more in the back, and then there's two more of these four by sixes. I had this thing all polished up and clean the other day, but I've been rolling real hard this last week, so uh, just kind of messy with my laundry and stuff. Uh, but uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, so there's gosh, not really good lighting back there, and then up on the other side, and then the two six and a halfs are down like by the bed, which that is kind of sweet because. You can, if you're laying back there, I like to like listen to music back there and stuff, and you can, uh, you can feel them, and so it makes them seem like they're they're that much louder. Like I don't know if you guys remember, they had those bass shakers, and uh, I seen them at the car audio shop one time, and they're like, you know, it sounds like you got a pair of eights when you stick them under the seat or whatever. I never, I was never in a vehicle that used them, but that's what I that's what I was told. But um, anyway, yeah, this thing sound, it's actually really good sounding. It gets loud, and it's like I think gotta have an amp for running all these speakers. I don't think it's this deck powering it, but it's the same deck and I can't imagine there's much different inside. So I, I, I'm i gonna assume it's uh, external application, but I won't find out until I get in there. But I just thought you guys might find it interesting like that. <laughs> this had the, the, the 379 that shares the same radio as a uh, Cascadia, but I'm telling you, totally different listening experience. That one, the 6x9s put out a little bit of bass for what they were, and, you know, but I think it's because of the large area of a, of a, like a sleeper or whatever. I don't know. I don't know what helps it, but, um, but yeah, this, it sounds pretty good. I'll, like, let it rip real quick. Oh, no, I got it set to, like, treble. Hold on. That's what happens when you don't edit videos. You end up with many, many mistakes. <laughs> All right. All right. So anyway, 
and I roll up my windows. And that's another thing that's <laughs> kind of neat on this. Is you got your, uh, you got air windows, which I never have seen those before. Um, I don't know, they're kind of slick. Uh, this thing's got button switches, gauges for everything you would ever want to know about your truck. It's really nice. Um, but, uh, yeah, the radio, I'm super happy with this. Anyway, real quick, because that's, yeah, I want to, you know, yeah, I, they can copyright it if they want to. I just don't want to take it down. But, um, yeah, like, it sounds really good. I, I will say this. So I've got, in the Suburban, I've got that, uh, the, a PPI PC 4100, which was a thousand dollar amp back in the day. And I've got two sets of components. Now, I have the crossover turned up high on that, so it's not, it, 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 this, this, like the I guess the mid range of this sounds better to me than that. Um, I don't think it's any cleaner. Um, I would say it's about the same though. I mean, it's not. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how this would hold up if you you know if you put like a, like a couple eight teens like in the suburban. So maybe that's a little louder than I'm thinking it is. But um, whenever I turn the subs off, I mean it, it it screams, but so does this. So I don't know. It's just really interesting. Um, but it sounds really good. But I was like blown away because I'm like. I saw this when I first get this truck, and I'm like, oh no, not that piece of junk head unit again. I'm, I, I really like this thing. I don't know. It's just, this is a good sound system. Like, seriously, uh, 112 or a couple tens or whatever, this will be great to roll around the country. And so, anyway, um, that's my video. I, I'm trying to cut back on my videos. So I'm like watching them. They just say, <laughs> it kind of run a little long. So, um, but yeah, just letting you guys know what's up and, uh, um, uh, you know, so you can see the, uh, what, what the new, uh, the new situation is, which is really sweet. I make a lot more money. I drive a much nicer truck. Um, that one was like speed limited to 60, hmm, let me think, uh, it was, okay, so it was 65, but you could put it on cruise control for 67. I mean, this one you could put you put on cruise at 75. That truck, though, you wouldn't want to roll it at, at 75 miles an hour. It, it really squirt. It did not feel stable at that speed. So, you know, I guess there's reasons for it. But um, another thing too, that truck, you get anything over 25,000 pounds, and it feels like you're trying to pull battleship. And this thing, I've got you know 44,000 pound trailer right now, and it's like there's nothing back there. So, it just it feels a lot safer. I mean, it's just a much you know, you know it's just a sweet rig and I, I love it and I, I couldn't be happier and I'm making the kind of money that I can do to start buying some some toys again so I can do some videos for you guys so anyway that's where I'm at <laughs>